Hey, what's up? I am bodybuilding.com master coach and sports dietitian Jessica Isaacs. Today I'm bringing you five tips for reducing inflammation. Inflammation is the immune system's attempt to protect the body against infection, trauma, chronic disease, illness, and physical stress. So inflammation and high intensity exercise go hand in hand. There are two categories of inflammation, acute inflammation and chronic inflammation. Acute inflammation is short term and it isn't actually a bad thing. It's a normal response to high intensity exercise and it's how our body speeds up the healing process. On the other hand, when inflammation doesn't resolve, it becomes chronic or long-term inflammation. And this is something we want to avoid as it impacts the entire body and is the root cause of many diseases. Chronic inflammation can show up as fatigue, muscle damage, muscle soreness. It also limits our ability to build muscle mass and to hit performance goals. So let's talk about some things we can do nutritionally to manage and reduce our inflammation. Number one, consume adequate protein. Protein repairs exercise-induced muscle damage and builds new tissue. The appropriate amount of protein varies per person, but for most active people, a range of 0.77 to one grams of protein per pound of body weight is likely sufficient. Also aim for 20 to 30 grams of protein post-exercise. Choose leaner protein options most often, like chicken, eggs, lean beef, and fish. Number two, increase omega-3 rich foods. Omega-3s are essential fatty acids that support good brain health, as well as decrease inflammation. Omega-3 foods include fatty fish like salmon, tuna, mackerel, and herring. Other foods include chia seeds, walnuts, and flax seeds. And then you can also get some milks and juices that are fortified with omega-3s. For some people, an omega-3 supplement may also be a good idea, especially if you're not getting in a fish source or a marine source of omega-3s at least a couple times a week. Number three, consume antioxidant rich foods. Add color to your meals with a variety of fruits and vegetables. These are rich in vitamins A, C, and E, which are antioxidants that help to reduce oxidative stress caused by high intensity exercise. Foods rich in these vitamins include dark leafy greens, broccoli, peppers, dark berries, citrus fruits, tomato, and carrots. And then other anti-inflammatory foods include whole grains, egg yolks, avocado, sweet potatoes, and herbs and spices like ginger, turmeric, and garlic. Number four, drink tart cherry juice. Tart cherry juice is rich in a pigment called anthocyanin, which is an antioxidant. It's been shown by research to reduce muscle pain, as well as to maintain muscle strength by reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. Have this either post-exercise, or you can add this in twice a day, in the morning, and post-exercise. Number five, optimize vitamin D levels. Vitamin D is made in the body through sun exposure and plays a role in regulating the body's inflammatory response. Many people are vitamin D deficient, however, and there are a lot of great food sources of vitamin D. When possible, try to get some early afternoon sun as sun is the best source of vitamin D. Some food sources include fatty fish, egg yolks, and fortified dairy products. And for some people, a vitamin D supplement may also be appropriate. Those have been your five tips for reducing inflammation. I'm Coach Jess. As always, keep it locked into bodybuilding.com for more ways to build your body.